नमस्कार वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ एडिटोरियल नरेंद्र दामोदर दास मोदी आवर प्राइम मिनिस्टर इज गोइंग टू बी द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट फैक्टर बोथ फॉर भारतीय जनता पार्टी एंड फॉर कांग्रेस एंड फॉर एनी अदर पार्टी फॉर दैट मैटर ऑफ फैक्ट इन द ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर इलेक्शन लेट अस सी वाई लेट्स गेट राइट टू द शो You see the biggest problem that a company that owns multiple brand faces is that when all the other brands that the company owns or is part of the company's table depends on one lead brand which means that when that one lead brand shakes when there is a some kind of a market problem for that one lead brand when there is some kind of uh, issue for that one lead brand that lead brand ensures that all the other brands suffer because of that while all the other brands are stabilized in the market gets a, a particular market gets sale because of that lead brand when everything is fine but the day that lead brand shake every other brand starts crumbling down so it is always better that a large company which has got multiple brands focuses on each brand focuses on each brand and develops each brand in an individual capacity so that one brand one brand sales doesn't affect sales or image or whatever doesn't affect the other brand each of the brand can stand on its own this is a very common thing and any marketing professional will agree to me <clears throat> now why am i saying this i am saying this is because congress became a very powerful brand very powerful brand is because congress was not all about nehru unlike what it is said it is not it was never all about nehru it was not even about indira gandhi when congress started becoming all about the gandhis that is when congress started receding the popularity of congress started coming down till such time that congress was of with many leaders congress was very powerful i mean congress had during indira gandhi's time itself congress had i mean nehru's time congress had the best it had a dream team even in the gandhi's time congress had k karuna karan congress had ak antony congress had sharad pawar congress had yashwant rao chavan congress had a whole host of leaders digvijay singh so on and so forth so many leaders so many leaders were all were doing well in their particular state and of course overriding leader indira gandhi fantastic one huge brand but all the other brands having individual market share perfect when that changed and congress started becoming uh, rajiv gandhi at one point in time or a sonia gandhi at one point in time congress market congress market share or in this case votes started receding theek hai na okay now the biggest thing about bharatiya janata party was that bharatiya janata party was full of leaders atal bihari vajpayee lk advani murli manohar joshi jaswant singh yashwant sinha huge leaders everywhere they're a tremendous leader so it was a party full of leaders and of course there was this overriding personality of atal bihari vajpayee and even there there were actually two overriding personalities atal bihari vajpayee and lk advani and they had they were individual brands also and bjp started going up now bjp if you see now has reached the same level of congress where the other brands have gone now it is back to what congress was congress was gandhis bjp is is modi even brand amit shah is more or less over it is modi modi and modi till here do we agree so now what congress what congress was is what bjp is and interestingly congress is going back to its old days while you have rahul gandhi and uh, uh, priyanka gandhi his sister uh, quite popular quite uh, uh, relevant having a fantastic uh, national presence 
बट यू हैव डी के शिव कुमार यू हैव सिद्धारमैया यू हैव सचिन पायलट गुड बैड अगली यू हैव अशोक गहलोत यू हैव कमलनाथ यू हैव दीज पीपल हु आर कमिंग अप एंड हु आर बिकमिंग स्ट्रॉगर बिकमिंग इंडिविजुअल ब्रांड लीडर्स states like maharashtra does not have that once upon a time we had vilas rao deshmukh after that states like maharashtra does not have uh, individual strong leaders therefore no presence in uh, in uh, maharashtra no much presence of congress in maharashtra if M mahavikas agadi wins congress will be part of that mahavikas agadi and it may win but it will not be what the congress was once upon a time in maharashtra because congress does not have that leadership in maharashtra same is the case with uttar pradesh congress doesn't have the leader in uttar pradesh same is the case with delhi congress doesn't have a shila dikshit anymore in delhi so somewhere down the line where they didn't have they were they didn't have individual brands they are still not doing well but wherever congress has individual brands you see congress is doing well in rajasthan congress is things work out there between uh, gelot and sachin pilot congress will do well why because there are uh, gelot and sachin pilot there are two individual brands there kamalnath individual brand in madhya pradesh chances are it will do well so this is the story now let's come back to narendra modi and bharatiya janata party you see narendra modi and bharatiya janata party if you go to see in uttar pradesh for instance in uttar pradesh you had a yogi so there is no doubt about it yogi is very powerful but somewhere down the line modi was more powerful than yogi and i will tell you through figures facts and figures i am going to share that to you karnataka again modi's work was more relevant than bomai's work so somewhere down the line states are now looking at modi modi is making a difference in the state assembly elections are fought under modi's banner modi's name and modi's work which means that individual brand is dwindling which means that individual brands are shrinking individual brands are not given an opportunity to stand and flourish so therefore भारतीय जनता पार्टी इज इन रिवर्स गियर एट द मोमेंट सेम थिंग वॉट कांग्रेस वॉज आई ट्राई एंड टेल यू वॉट आई मीन बाई दिस ओके लेट स्टार्ट विथ कर्नाटका फ्रेश है ना विल स्टार्ट विथ कर्नाटका यू सी इन कर्नाटका कंसिडरेशन फॉर वोटिंग इन कर्नाटका वर्क डन बाय बोमाय गवर्नमेंट द कंसिडरेशन ऑफ वोटिंग वॉज फोर्टीन परसेंट but work done by modi government the concentration of voting was 26% overall both ka concentration was 27% i am quoting csds survey okay so modi's concentration was far higher than bomoy's concentration okay let's go further the question is that are you satisfied or dissatisfied with the performance of narendra modi led central government over the last 4 years theek hai we are talking about central government in karnataka not about the state government now people who are fully satisfied only 12% of them voted for congress saying that theek hai fully satisfied with the government in center baba but you know congress here we want congress only 12% 74% voted for bharatiya janata party which means what which means that if i am satisfied with narendra modi's work i will vote for bharatiya janata party in regardless of whatever the state government is and whoever leads the state government 74% fully dissatisfied 65% who are fully dissatisfied with the central government's work in the center that is modi's work in the center 65% of them voted for congress and only 7% of them voted for bharatiya janata party the matter reverse again here the matter reverse again here because people say koi bhi ho i am not satisfied with modi i don't like narendra modi's work in the center so i am going to vote for congress regardless regardless okay 65% of them voted for congress what am i trying to say i am trying to say that karnataka in bharatiya janata party voters of bharatiya janata party and voters in general were more bother about what narendra modi's work was how narendra modi is and what narendra modi's image is and the votes were was based on that more than bomai the overriding brand in karnataka was narendra modi let's go to another state let's go to uttar pradesh so that i can prove a point theek hai na 
इन उत्तर प्रदेश सेम सी एस डी एस सर्वे दो वोटेड फॉर भारतीय जनता पार्टी कंसिडरिंग द मोदी गवर्नमेंट वर्क मोर देन योगी गवर्नमेंट वर्क वाइल वोटिंग दिस इज उत्तर प्रदेश एंड दिस इज टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू वोटेड फॉर भारतीय जनता पार्टी प्लस लुकिंग एट स्टेट गवर्नमेंट ट्वेंटी वन परसेंट वोटेड बट लुकिंग एट नरेंद्र मोदी सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट फोर्टी फोर परसेंट पीपल वोटेड लुकिंग एट सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट फोर्टी फोर परसेंट पीपल अगेन आई एम ट्राइंग टू प्रूव अ पॉइंट दैट इफ यू लुक एट रिसर्च एंड इफ यू लुक एट रिसर्च क्लोजली पीपल आर वोटिंग लुकिंग एट नरेंद्र दामोदर दास मोदी द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट द प्राइम मिनिस्टर the state brands the state leaders are becoming lesser relevant than what they were before so why did i throw all these figures at you the reason i was giving you the statistics is because i wanted to tell you that what gandhi's was to congress today modi is to bharatiya janata party what bharatiya janata party kept on saying that we are not a single leader party is exactly what bharatiya janata party is today and that is why i was showing you all these figures that is what i wanted to prove now the point i want to make the point i want to make is in marketing they say the best way to tackle a large huge national brand is by building fabulous regional brands building one combating one huge national brand with another huge national brand is a difficult job it is more easier to tackle a large national brand with very competitive very effective regional brand what i mean is not regional parties i am not saying that therefore narendra modi can be combated by regional parties what i am trying to say is that even national parties should give more impetus to regional leaders because regional leaders can take advantage if prime minister narendra modi slips if there is a controversy or if there is a, 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 a issue in in terms of his decisions or whatever that advantage of whatever modi government does wrong that advantage a regional leader can take much better than a national competition the one national competition that's the point i was trying to make and that's why i wanted to do this editorial so the point is if narendra modi continues flawlessly till 2024 it is a cake walk for bharatiya janata party bharatiya janata party is again back in 2024 and there till 2029 but the chances are if there is if there are any issues controversies controversial decisions that he makes before the election in 2024 chances are that if the strong opposition has strong leaders they can take advantage of it that's the point i wanted to make till i see you next time that's tomorrow at 10 namaskar